Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Paul Mackay from Analog Wonderland, and today we are going to be talking to you all about the world's most popular black and white film, according to a very informal poll I just did. Quick one before we get started, if you like film photography and want to see more videos like this one, film reviews, tips and tricks, that kind of thing, then please do make sure you're subscribed to our channel and notifications are turned on. Thank you so much. So today we are talking about the wondrous emulsion that is Ilford HP5+. Plus. Now I am going to be quite happily raving about this film throughout this video because it is our best selling black and white film. It is probably one of the best selling black and white films in the entire world. It is beloved by beginners, amateurs, professionals alike. And we're going to be talking to you about what it is about this film that makes it so loved and what that means for you when you shoot it, how you can get the best out of the film. So HP5, it is panchromatic, which we know means that it sees light across the entire visible spectrum. This will react to blue light, green light, red light, everything in between, and it will render the image very similar to how you see it, admittedly, in monochrome. It is an Ilford film, so it is made here in the UK, up in Cheshire, and ships directly to us fresh from the factory. It is ISO 400, which means that it can be shot in normal British weather, whether that's summer, winter, autumn or spring, ISO 400 is going to work well outdoors. But one of the reasons that it is loved so much is that you can also push it and pull it and still get fantastic results in terms of grain, contrast, final image. And in fact, even on the canister, you can see a little tick box that says 400, 800, 1600. Now what you use that for is if you want to push it one or two stops or shoot at a box speed, you then just tick the box when you send it to the lab and they will know what you shot it at and therefore how to adapt in the chemistry. And what I like even more is that there's actually another little box to the side of 1600 where you could then choose 3200 or 6400 or somewhere in between and shoot it even more. There are tons of images online where people have taken HP5 and shot it in very low light and still got fantastic images out of it. So that flexibility is one of the things that people love. The other thing that really comes out very strongly is how it handles contrast. So this is not a particularly contrasty film. Now, personally, I do have to say, I personally prefer other black and white films like Kodak Tri-X, for example, or Delta 100 that have stronger contrast than HP5 straight out the camera. But I'm in the minority there where I say that I prefer other films. The way to think about it is thinking that HP5 captures what you see in front of you, almost like a, a raw image in digital world. It captures tons of information, it captures tons in the shadows, it captures tons in the highlights. And then you can interpret that image through scanning and editing on Photoshop or darkroom printing in a way to get your best final result, which is why it's beloved by beginners all the way up to professionals. Beginners love it for the flexibility. You can get the speed wrong. You can shoot in contrasty environments. You can aim at the sun. You can catch lots of things into your image and it will still be able to cope. It won't blow itself out. It won't be totally contrasty. It won't be unusable or muddy. It will still render a good image when you make beginner's mistakes, which is not a criticism, we've all done it. And at the same time, if you want a perfect final print, you know that you can shoot the image with this and then still do a lot of work in the dark room in order to get the image exactly how you picture it. So it is the ultimate in terms of capturing what's in front of you and allowing you to then, at the end of your scanning, editing, printing, whatever it is process, to come up with the image that really brings your creative vision to life. Now it's 24 exposures. So not the 36 exposure, we're doing the 24 exposure in Wonderbox. And the reason for that is because I know that many of you will have shot HP5 before. So rather than giving you a stock that you just know and you're gonna, yep, yeah, fine, I know what this works with, shoot with it. I want to challenge you to try something slightly different with it if you are experienced. So if you haven't shot HP5 before, then find out what all the fuss is about, load it, I'm not going to give any specific advice on subject or lighting because as you'd have picked up, it can handle pretty much anything. If you are inspired as your first role to push it, that's absolutely fine. I would probably recommend starting with box speed just so you can understand its typical look. It's very HP5 look, bit of grain, not too much. Enough to let you know that it's a beautiful film, not enough to really distort the image. And then as you get more comfortable with future roles, I'm sure you will experiment with that more and more. If 
you are an HP5 aficionado, a total professional, then use these 24 frames as a chance to experiment. And what do I mean by that? Well, I would personally think of it as if you know and understand how well it works in normal situations, how can you push yourself and the film out of those normal situations, knowing that this is one that will cope very, very well with it. So that might be using a different developer if you develop at home. That might be pushing it to 3200 if you normally shoot it at box speed. That might be pulling it if you normally push it. There's lots of things that you can do that might be shooting super contrasty photos. That might be shooting portraits when normally you use it for street photography. Whatever it is, I am 100% confident that when you use this film in ways that you are not used to, it will still be able to cope with it. And again, you will see the community talk about this as being the ultimate Swiss army knife of black and white emulsions in that it can cope with all of these certain things. Now, as I say, don't expect it to be really, really punchy straight out of the, the camera, effectively. If you do really love punchy images, you will have to play with it probably a little bit more after, but you also know that it'll be able to cope with that perfectly, perfectly well. The other reason that the 24 exposure is so beloved by the community is also this is not a particularly expensive film for the quality that you get back. So it's also a wonderful film for testing new cameras, for testing cameras that you might have fixed at home or have recently returned. It's a very affordable way to quickly churn through some shots, knowing that the emulsion will be true to what it sees, knowing that you're not going to get any quirks from the film itself, that it will be very true to the scene and to the operation of the camera, and also knowing that you're going to get great photos as long as the camera is okay, the repair went well, and all that, all that kind of thing. And that's it. So this week it is one of the best known, most loved, highest reviewed, most rated films on our site. If you haven't shot it before, find out what the fuss is about. If you have shot it before, push yourself out of your comfort zone. Regardless, I cannot wait to see what you create with your HP5 Plus Wonderbox film. Thank you so much.